Good day everyone. Welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your resident designer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create these um, uh, sectional perspectives, whether detailed or not. Uh, in the, um, I've done a video before showing you guys how you can do a, a 3D section. Uh, in Archicad and uh, sending it to Lumion to be rendered. I'll link the video in the de in, in description or on the top right hand corner right now. Uh, but with that said, <clears throat> let's get into Archicad so that I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so in the, on the previous video we did a detail. So in this video we're doing a, a perspective uh, section. Um, so what I'm going to do here, we're using the same, uh, the same model. So I want to go to 3D view right here by pressing F3. And this is the model that we've been, uh, working with. So I just want to show you guys what I added. Uh, I just added, um, these trusses and I also added some buttons. And everything like that so that they can show up on the uh, 3d view I'm going to go to the ground floor plan so that we can select the area that we need to show and what I usually do is you can either use the 3d cutaway uh, by activating it using ctrl Y and then you can just cut away a, a certain portion uh, that you want to cut in 3d but i've showed you on the previous video as i said which is linked in the description or on the top right hand corner uh, but on uh, on this video i'm going to be using the 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 marquee tool and uh, with this marquee tool i'm just going to select an area which i want to show in 3d right here and i'm going to press f5 to to show in 3d all the selected information as you can see right now in 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 three in the 3d view there's a certain portion which is not showing and that's because the 3d cutaway is currently active so i can just say ctrl y to inactivate it once again so you want to try and align the the area which you want to sort of like uh, cut through basically so I think I'm happy with maybe cutting through uh, this area right here. But uh, it's quite critical of which I'm going to show you uh, that you want your horizontal lines to be uh, perfectly horizontal and your vertical lines to be perfectly horizontal. Just to show you what I mean, I'm going to just start here and prepare this right now. So I'm going to right click and then just say a new 3d document right here and then it's going to give me a reference which is going to be 3d01 and then the name is going to be perspective or feature that's exactly what we want but what i'm talking about will be uh will be will be shown in a in a few minutes in a, in a little bit basically so that's what you get yeah i like that very much so what I, what I was explaining just now is that you want your horizontal lines to be horizontal, perfectly horizontal, and your vertical lines to be perfectly horizontal. And that's not what we have right here. So you want to go and fix that. So I'm going to press F3 to go back to 3D view, and I'm going to click this icon, which is 3D uh, projection settings or control shift F3. So you just say control shift F3 and then it's going to open up this dialogue right here. So you want to concentrate on the camera, camera Z and uh, the target Z. So we can say uh, 2100 and then the target also has to be 2100 so that we can get our vertical lines uh, to line up properly. So I'm just going to click this so as you can see right now all the vertical lines are aligned properly vertically and then control shift f3 once again now you want to concentrate on the uh, azimuth 
I don't know how you pronounce that, but you want to click this to the closest angle, which is 180 degrees. And everything else I'm fine with, I don't have a problem. Maybe you can have your your, your sunlight, uh, your sun dialogue um, behind the camera. And then you can just say OK. Now everything is parallel and everything also, all the lines also are going to be vertical, right? So what you want to do while you're here is you're going to click on this 3D document and then you're going to say redefine document based on the current 3D view and it's going to update that information for you. As you can see, it's updating right now and what you get is that your horizontal lines are lining up and your vertical lines, I mean, the first line that I, I just clicked on right now was a vertical lines and also your horizontal lines are lining up. So that is pretty much ideal. And what you also realize is that uh, by doing this, you are also creating sort of like a perspective, a one point perspective. So I want to show you guys exactly what I mean. So I'm going to intersect this these lines and they have a vanishing point so that's what that's one vanishing point that's what I mean by a one point perspective so you see that everything sort of like going to one vanishing point obviously I did not pick the right node right here I need to pick that point and then use this stretch and then click on that you'll see that everything is pretty much um, vanishing to that point right there so this is just to show this is a, a section uh, but it's a perspective so it's a one point perspective so I guess you guys get the point right there so you can go ahead and detail this but some of the information is not coming out um, as properly set as a proper information so what I'm going to do is I'm because I'm using the timber floor in the under the building material so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to alternate these lines so I'm going to be using 85 right here and then I'm going to be using minus one right here so that this information will pop out the cut information from for the timber info timber information basically needs to pop out as yellow especially when you're detailing uh, sections or details even in, even in floor plan basically that's how you represent it so what you want to do right here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the the view map so that all this information doesn't get lost so I'm going to say view settings right here uh, section is fine. I don't have a problem with that and the pen set is fine I also don't have a problem with that But one of some of the information which you want to show properly you want to add some depth to this um, a Sectional perspective and you also want to uh, sort of like have some To indicate that something is further than it really is because right now it looks bland and it's very difficult to read so i'm going to right click and go to instead of going to review settings i'm going to go to detail sex settings no I'm, I'm actually in the wrong the wrong area we want to go to the 3d document area we want to right click and then we want to go uh 3d document settings that's where we want to be and what i want us to concentrate on the general information i don't really want to uh worry about that right now there's no need to worry about anything except for the model display it's something that we've gone through on the elevations and sections parts of this uh, project but what i want to show you guys is you're gonna have to say uh transparency obviously on elevations and sections we don't want any transparency through anything that is class and what you want to do is you want to add your your, your sun right now it's it's sun shadow right now it's set to off and then you just want to click here and then you just want to say on and then it's going to cast the shadow so giving it a little bit of depth
and there you go as you can see right here we have some depth right now but uh, we're not done just yet we want to also so you have your cut elements so your cut elements obviously you just want to leave at cut fills um as in settings uh this these cut fills are all or are the settings are actually pulled from building materials so i'm just i'm just pointing that out so just to give you an indication what would happen if you use the uniform surfaces obviously uh we're using a purple line right here you'll see that everything that is being cut cut is going to turn purple and that's what you get and obviously this is not the type of information we want to get to so we're going to reverse this information right now and just go uh, with the cut fills as as in settings and what we want to concentrate on right now we want to concentrate on the uncut elements and then under the uncut elements you want to add um, if you wanted to add say a uniform pen and that uniform pen was black you'll see what will happen everything that is in the background which is not being cut is going to turn black which is something that we don't want to achieve but i have to point it out right now of how you can get around that and that's what you get so all the element that's been cut is going to come out proper but everything that is beyond will not come out proper so what we want to do to alleviate this issue is that you want to uh, under the uncut surface pen you want to use this pen right here i think which is actually minus one and then you say okay and that's what you get but even with this it's still a bit overbearing and overpowering so we we wanna we wanna work through this and uh, make everything in the background a bit more lighter than everything that is being cut, uh, and also you'll see that uh, while we're in this mode, the 3D inform the 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 line weights are also uh, quite responsive while we are in this mode. So you wanna once again right click, go to 3D document settings, and um, let's say especially for the sun shadow um you want to use for the sun shadow maybe you want to use 20 percent and maybe you'd want to use something like the 27 pen and then also for the uniform pen uh you want to use a nice outline like that and then let's see what uh, this actually gives us Maybe you don't want to use a pen that is actually black for the information that is in, at the background. Maybe you want to use something that's a bit light like this. And that's what you get. So you still get that depth, but everything that is in the background comes out as a different uh, as a different tone as to everything that is being cut. So I think this is, it's very important that we actually go through this and understand how you can then present information like this and also understand this is a live model so all this information you can always maybe uh, decide to switch some of the information on based on layers this is a door so obviously this is a class door and it's opening onto a bathroom so you don't want that to be the case uh, what you'd want to do obviously is we are going to go to the leaf uh, door leaf type and then we're going to go to style one and then we're just gonna say okay and it becomes a solid uh, a solid timber door if that's what you want to do and basically that's that and maybe you'd want to add some uh, 3d let, let's just let's just take one of these so I'm, I'm just gonna take this I'm just gonna drag a copy right here and I click on uh, open the settings dialog and then I'm going to go all the way down to visualizations and I'm gonna say people and then uh, you have your people but I'm going to use this uh, people contour and I want to use this element right here and I say okay and then I'm gonna say Control D to drag to drag it to that point right here and then I'm going to go back to my uh, 3d perspective and then you have uh, this uh, figure right here to indicate uh, a human scale 
so basically that's how you do uh, this obviously because maybe you'd want to use this as a detailed perspective you have the option to enter in some dimensions uh, if that's something you want to do so I'm just gonna go on to annotations and then I'm gonna start uh, annotating this something like this so this is what I like with the detailed perspective in AccuCAD is that you can go ahead and just start detailing this information and adding some annotations and uh, so on and so forth and then you can just hold on uh, while you have this uh, this dimension selected you can hold down control and then you can add other points as you go along and uh, you'd want the text maybe to be black you would want uh, the lines also to be black so that uh, it doesn't look weird and maybe you'd want your text to uh, align with the uh, with this maybe you'd want your text to be uh, a bit bigger and then you can set up your dimensions properly however you want to set up your dimensions basically you know also it's not allowing me to create another one so i'm just going to click from that point to the highest point right here and then i'm gonna choose which direction i want this to be i gonna take it up to there then click here so basically that's that obviously other things you can do you can add annotations blah 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 blah, blah. and uh yeah basically that's that um that's it for me richmond i hope this video was helpful for you guys i hope also this tutorial was helpful for you guys with that said i'll see you on the next tutorial love you guys god bless you and goodbye